noticed that the mill here had just this big blank space that we could really work on um, adding and connecting the businesses, the recreation and art and the history of our community. So that very long process started in 2009, ended in a couple grants that we got, forecast uh, from, uh, let's see, I think they're out of St. Paul, and then Central Minnesota Arts Board, two funders that helped make this process possible. And not to mention, Judy and Jeff, we worked very close with from the mill. They helped donate the site and um, we're very, extremely wonderful to work with and very open to the process, which we always like when we're talking about art in our communities. And then we connected up with Polar. Tim Opot from Polar in Opole actually dedicated a large percentage of the metal that you see in the artwork today. So that's another way where we made connections with the actual art piece being sustainable and using recycled materials. And um, I sit on a member, I'm a member of a board called HIP, Holding in Partnership. Many people know the committee. And if, let's see. Um, so the committee is, I just want to see if who's all here. Um, there's a group of several people. Vicki Stotts is on there. She's, the whole idea behind this committee, I believe, started with the Initiative Foundation. And it was to find volunteers and leaders in our community to take programs, to take services, and then to actually um, develop and enhance what we had naturally in our community. So Vicki Stotts, who works as the clerk for the holding court, she spearheaded the Garden Club and is really working as a strong volunteer there. Mike Oden, he's a heading up and has worked and started with the Historical Society and of course is a prominent artist in our own community here. And then we have Joe Christensen. Joe Christensen, as you know, is a member of the Lions Club, but he's also a board member of the Lake Wobegon Trail Association. And he helps with um, things related to the Wobegon Trail as well as economic development. And then we also have our uh, president of that board, which Craig, he's not here, Craig Dewar, and he's really fundamental in assisting us get money because uh, the Initiative Foundation supports this group financially so that we can do great projects. And not to mention our fearless leader, the mayor, who has been extremely supportive to volunteers like me coming to the community. He works there, he's, he's shoveling alongside, you know, cleaning ditches up, to writing grants, to everything you could possibly imagine a mayor should be and more. And so Mayor Ernie would like to come up and then introduce our beautiful artist for the day and talk about his hard work in this process as well. Thank you for being here. First off, we got to give Michelle a hand here. It's because of her we have this. She was the leader of this project. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. And uh, like Michelle said, I mean, this represents the community. We, we had different artists submit different art pieces, and this is one that the community voted on. And I can see why. It, it fits the community so well. These faces on here are actual people in the community. And if you look real hard, you can tell who they are. So it's, it's a great project. And I want to uh, congratulate and introduce you, Keith Rabo. Come on, Keith. He's the artist. Let's give Keith a hand here. Hey. He's done a fantastic job. Say, uh, say a little bit, Keith. OK. I, I uh, <coughs> got into this just because I received an email from Forecast that Holdingford was putting out a call for artists. Um, and I responded to that, and I really didn't expect anything to come of it, but uh, I ended up um, getting my design chosen, and that, that uh, worked out real well. It's, it took me longer. I was supposed to be done with this a month ago, but it took me a little longer to finish, like things usually do. But I'm, I'm happy with the way the results turned out. Uh, what else? I. Uh, I worked with Michelle mostly. I'd like to thank her um, too. And, and, and uh, there you go. And then I, uh, I did come and sit down a couple of times and meet with the, the hip committee and to pick their brains on on the design. I I had pretty much freedom. They they just wanted me, us to submit a concept, and that's what I did. I picked their brains to see what to put into it and see what was important to the community. And that's how I arrived at my design. First of all, I was going to put something on the wall. And I actually did a design I was going to submit. And then we, I, I came, I looked at the site and I came back 
a second time to make sure because my memory gets a little foggy and and my dis the design I had just wasn't doing it for me. That's why I decided to go on a fence and pull it away from the wall. But, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Good job. Good job. And this is a design that's going to stay for generations. I mean, it's, it's stainless steel, most of it, right? All of it? <laughs> it's all stainless steel except for the faces. And uh, originally I was going to um, put something that identified the faces and then I, afterwards I thought, no, it's better. When I was putting up the, the first sections that had faces on it, a couple people came by and they were telling, I just overheard this, but they were talking amongst um, themselves, and they were telling um, who the faces were. And of course they were totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought, you know, they would be really stupid. To, to identify them because yeah. now these faces become a lot of different people. <laughs> and, and it's yeah. more fun yeah. now. They can They're try to figure it out. So I won't tell you who is who there. You'll have to figure it out. Which one's Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> that one I could there. tell you. I could tell this again. I worked on the train. No, like I said, this would be generations. I mean, cool. generations now are going to feel oh, seamless. Awesome. Because of well, the way it's made. So I think it's a fantastic oh, piece sure. of work. Oh, sure. That's it. The community needs it. Here, here. Made out of what kind of material then? Oh, the, the faces. Um, this was actually a new a new thing for me, so it was a learning experience for me too. But I, I had people come in to the city hall and sat them down and put a plastic over their body, and it was kind of fun. I, I do have pictures of it. I'm, I'm going to have to give them to Michelle. Um, I used alginate. It, it's it. it you mix it with water and it's just kind of a, uh, about the, like a thick cream. And you know, it's it's interesting that you take a handful of thick cream and you slap it in the mayor's face. <laughs> 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 and all of these people were very good sports about it. You know, they, I, I had to grease up their eyebrows and their hair a little bit so it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't come out easier. And then I just covered their faces and, and they looked, um, it's fun to look at them. We look like monsters uh, or Halloween things when they're when we're doing it. And, and then I, that gave me a mold that I, I cast in plaster. And then I took that home and I cast it in aluminum. Made a, um, another mold off of that and did a lost wax casting. Mm -hmm. So it ended, ended up being quite a process to, to cast the faces. It took me about a day for each face. <coughs> But it was fun. So I'm on to a new thing too now because of this. So. Oh. <laughs> I had never done any casting before. You know. oh. I knew I could do it. So please look to, he has a website too. Um, there's a dedication information about today um, on the table as well as refreshments. And please take the water bottles and art supplies. Um, HIP, the Holding Farm and Partnership Committee, it's going to be around for a while doing wonderful things in this community so if you hear us in the newspaper you hear us in the mayor's report these are real people just volunteers dedicating their time doing things they're passionate about and we look to art as keep helping us continue a long history of art in our community and we hope to do more and infuse more because it takes a, it takes our past and infuses it with the future in no other way can this be done outside of the mind of the beautiful genius of an artist. And so thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with us, and um, we hope to see you again soon. And can I also mention that we are looking for more people on the HIP committee. Um, we're going to have to go through another training process with the initial foundation if we want to keep getting grants. So people, please keep that in mind. We can't expect the same people to keep doing it year after year. We need more volunteers. This is a community. Everybody needs to participate in the community. So I would appreciate yeah. we can get more volunteers in the future. I just like, the, Ernie is the one that instigated and started the whole HIP process with the Initiative Foundation. Well, we need yeah. money. Well, yeah, well, you were looking for that, but at the same time, you were, he kind of talked to the city council and uh, encouraged the city council to proceed with the procedure, but it's all his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the artist if you want and take the 
some time. He also has a booth down. He'll be setting up a booth down at the community picnic. We also encourage you to interact with the art. This is a public space. Sit down, take your picture next to um, the gentleman on the bench, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Oh, my gosh.